Uh, what we're going to talk about now is we're going to talk about how to do a palm strike or Taisho Zuki effectively. Right? Now, um, as you guys know, the palm, palm strike, uh, you're going to be striking with the, you know, like here's the bone of the hand, right? Of the forearm. You want to end point there because you don't want to strike to where my hand can come like that. Right? You don't want to catch like that. You want to catch with this is jamming into the target, right? Just like that. That's what you want to do is strike into the bag. Now, there are strikes that you want to strike specific targets and retract back quickly. Right? Like if I'm trying to go to the eyes, I might snap out with an eye strike, right? Boom. Eye strike, right? So that kind of thing happens. I, it, maybe if you're here, maybe I can outward block here. I see the eyes are available. I might strike those eyes, right? When you're doing a palm strike, a palm strike or taishozuki is not that type of strike. It's striking, there's going, to be, there's going to be the strike, but then you're going to drive through that target. Ideally, here let me use you for a second, I'm just going to use your chin. Ideally, when you drive taisho, the number one spot is that chin. That, this chin line on, on, well, Mr. Dupree, that's on everyone, is the target because it's all the way around. I can hit that part underneath, this side, it's the, it doesn't matter. You're driving and jamming it up, right? So no matter what stance they're in, you can get that shot. You want to hit it, and then you drive through. So when you do Taisho, it's important that the elbow is not out. It's not like when I'm doing, like, say, if I'm doing, like, here, doing Shuto, see? Like this, my elbow comes out, and then I come through here, right? And do that kind of thing, see? So the elbow goes out. When I'm doing tai show, the elbow will drop. If the elbow is dropped like this, it puts you in, pers in a position to push out, right? When we do like take a bench press, with fitness training, my elbows are out, hands are like this, and my elbows are out and I'm pushing, see? Which, when you throw a punch or a strike, like say gyakuzuki or a reverse strike, my hand will rotate, and as I rotate, see that elbow comes out. So as I come through, so I'll rotate here, come through. So that elbow ends up coming out, right? With a tie show, that elbow stays in. By doing that, it gives you an opportunity to just push and drive through. Like again, like if you guys watch sports, like an offensive lineman in football would just kind of drive and push up. If I told all of you guys, I want you guys to walk up and punch the, the, the wood part here as hard as you can. And I said, you guys can use your knuckles or you can do a tie show, but hit it hard. You guys are all going to use this because you know if you hit hard ass wood or concrete with your knuckles, you're going to jack your hand up. When, I, when I'm going to put my force onto Mr. Dupree here, right? We're not talking about Jedi powers, okay? I'm talking about my you know, weight, speed, hip rotation, which is the torque, and then the speed as much I can strike through. When I do this and I strike and I drive up through them, I'm going to be driving through the target. The amount of force that I generate with my arm, just my arm alone, so if I throw a strike, there's gonna be so much speed and technique with this arm, right? Then we've got hip rotation. It's got speed, power, and hip rotation for torque. There's so, I'm gonna get more. It doesn't matter whether this is a eye strike or nukite or kizamizuki, right? Or taisho. I'm the one that's generating that. Yes, whatever you're using, does create a different effect onto the target because some of them have a bigger surface area and some of them like have a smaller surface area depending on the tool that you use. But Taishozuki is an excellent choice to be using for self-defense. I think Taishozuki is at his best when you're in Shizen. Earlier we talked about field of vision, right? What you're directly looking at. I'm here. So if I'm really close like this, it's really hard to see my hands, right? So imagine not seeing the hands and all of a sudden from there, you just jam up as fast as you can. You know what I'm saying? But if I'm up here, I'm like, you got like this, he can see my hands. Down here, there's none. So let's look at the actual way that you can actually impact the bag, right? Now, you can do this. Now, you, we have what's called uh, the hapakin in Gyokoryu. And a lot of times with that, you see us kind of coming to the side like a slap. Now in those, you can see we're coming into the ears. Now that's a little bit different. Hapakin is a little bit different when I'm here and I pop through the bag this way. That's going to be different because here, that I'm trying to take that and I'm trying to pop into those ears 
to go into that equilibrium and break those eardrums. So the hapa ken that we see, that's going to be a lot different of a strike than say taisho. Now taisho, and I've extended here because I'm going to drive through it. What I want you guys to do is when you do your taisho, I want you to step to where your foot is get where you're going to be able to push through it. Don't get so far back like this that when I strike and I use Taisho Zuki and I strike into the bag, I can't really get much more than that. So what you want to do is get just a little bit closer that as soon as you hit and you put force into that, I can drive through the bag. I'm going to turn the hip, go up on the ball of the foot. I'm going to drive this part, which is again in line with the forearm bone there. I'm going to turn my hand. This hand's going to come up for cover and you're going to drive it through and push through as hard as you can. Okay, and we're going to work this drill. So we're here. There's a threat being made. This hand comes as cover as this hand rises to Taisho. Push through. Here, push through. Here, push through. You guys see the drill? All right, good. 